The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. From, from my home state, from Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana, There he is, the host of the Uncle Ducky show, Uncle Ducky. There he is. Gentlemen, good evening. How are you? And welcome to our professionally produced, award-winning Uncle Ducky show. Hi. Hey. Oh my goodness, Sokka, what do I, I hear? Oh, look who came to visit us. Oh. A wolf. Look over here. Oh, gasp. <laughs> yeah. Gasp. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Your next line. Well, oh, uh, <laughs> hey, don't be afraid, boys and girls. Uh, wolves are a very important part of the ecosystem and the food chain, and they are uh, help Mother Nature work properly. So we're going to learn more about wolves later. Hey, uh, Sako, what is the new term of this month's television show? The term of the month is charitable. Hey, Char Uncle Ducky. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. McHenry. Hey, along with the, uh, the term of the month, uh, yes. let me just say this. Yes. That uh, Mr., uh, someone from the Fort Wayne Pickleball Association and uh, Sh uh, Sherry Karst from the uh, Lifehouse United Methodist Church in Huntertown, yes. where pickleball is played sometimes, okay. uh, they're going to come on here and explain a, a Christmas party that was given on, given at their house by a couple of people, pickleball players that we know of, uh, the small family. And uh, they gave away a lot of food to the uh, United Methodist Church. Yes, for the Harvest Community Food Bank. Yes, yes very, very good. good. Hey, and one more thing for today before we start the show. Yes. Uh, I might want to bring out, you know, I had the opportunity to throw out a first pitch last year's uh, Tin Cats game. Yes. And one thing I didn't realize, and I don't know if a lot of people don't realize, but there is a public park inside Parkview Field. It's called the Robert E. Morris uh, Meyer Park. And in that park, there's a stat uh, there's a sculpture, yes. stainless steel sculpture, that's called the New Blue. Yes. And I think we have some video of that. It's beautiful. Okay, Norm, would you like to roll that video, please? <laughs> We're just inside of the Jefferson Park, Jefferson Avenue Field uh, uh, gate in Parkview Field, and we're standing here in front of uh, a sculpture called New Blue. Yes. Uh, it represents uh, the, an iris of a flower. Yes. It opens up, it, it, the opening up of culture and art in Fort Wayne. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was done by uh, in stainless steel by Diana uh, Thornhill Miller, a uh, famous artist from California. And it was dedicated, and it sort of em emphasizes how Fort Wayne is coming back to life. Uh, thanks to uh, places such as this beautiful Park, Parkview Field. Uh, we have the uh, convention center over here. Uh, we also have the brand new public library. All, all, all uh, celebration of the arts and, and Fort Wayne coming back to life. Now, listen, Mr. McHenry, I want you to talk about your life and when you got started and who painted you. Hey, um, yeah, I was originally painted. I'm a repossession, re repainting of, of a Van Gogh painting by the name of the artist with a straw hat. I was I was painted, repainted in 1984 by uh, uh, an artist by the name of Timothy Johnson. Uh, he recreated me in 1984, and for 1984, 1984, and for a number of years, I hung on a wall 
at the Allen County Public Library <laughs> until they uh, restored the library, put this beautiful new building in downtown. That and the Grand Wayne Center and this beautiful Parkview Field <laughs> has got to be responsible for the fact that there are, right now, this evening, there are almost 8,000 people coming down into Fort Wayne and enjoying this beautiful city. <laughs> Jeff the insecurity guard. How's it going? And gentlemen. Very good, Jeff the insecurity guard. I've been here in a while. But I would like to introduce to you and Festus Shorts. <laughs> Shorts. Hello, hello everybody. Hello, Uncle Ducky. Hello. You'd be Amish in it, huh? Thank no, you, he's thank not you, Amish. Mr. Insecurity Guard. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Festus Schwartz. We have a new thing on the show now. Today's installment of Festus Physics. Okay? Now, we're going to take a look at a little bit of a basic physics lesson here that I learned while I was while I was out plowing a field. Now, if you could say, now, Je M Mr. Insecurity Guard, can you agree that forward is the future and backwards is the back, right? So if this is now, right now is now, okay? <laughs> so if you're passing me on the street going this direction with your arms out like this. Like this? Yes, and I'm passing you and I am passing you on the street going in this direction. Here is my now, <laughs> and here is your now, okay? Now, now I'm going to take you to the other side of the galaxy where the Andromeda space fleet is on the way to blow up the planet Earth. Ooh. Now here we are. This line represents the other side of the galaxy, 150,000 light years away. Ooh. That's how far light travels in one year is a light year, okay? And I forget the number of how fast that is. <laughs> we can't, people can't go that fast. Now, for the insecurities now, the further you get across the galaxy, here, the Andromeda space fleet has not even left yet. They haven't even decided whether they want to go to Earth or not. But for my now, the Andromeda space fleet has already left and is on the way, and boy, they really want to blow us up, okay? So you can see what this means is, the farther away across the galaxy it is, the farther apart what me and the insecurity guard consider to be now is. And this has been Festus Physics. Thank you, thank you. Okay. And on with the okay, show. Okay, and now we have, all the way from the islands, Ginger and Marianne on the show. Let's go. Ginger, I would like to introduce you to the farm hand. Hello, farm hand. <laughs> okay, and what is the farm hand going to do? What's, what's the farm hand going to do, Mary Ann? Oh, show books. Okay, so later on in the show, when Branch calls, the farm hand will hand the books to Mary Ann and Ginger. They'll show them and he will advise you to go to the library and read about this particular topic. Thank you, Mary Ann and Ginger. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hey! hey. Farmer Lafferty! Farmer Lafferty, kids! Hey! He's already got a mic. <laughs> That's for you. So yeah, yeah. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Dumb jokes. Yeah, yeah, dumb yeah, jokes. yeah, yeah. I am the king Ooh. of dumb jokes. Okay. And it runs in my blood. Okay. This was my grandfather's joke. Okay. Double, pe Double petunia is a flower like begonia. Right. Begonia is a meat like sausage. Yes. Sausage and battery is a crime. Yeah. Monkeys crime trees. Yeah. Trees a crowd. Right. The rooster crowd made a noise. <laughs> the noise is on your face like your eyes. 
Eyes is the opposite of nays. Yeah. The horse nays and has a colt. You go to bed with the colt, you could wake up with double petunia. Very good. I got in trouble at school. The teacher asked me, there's 10 sheep in the field and three get out. How many are left? I said, none. She said, you don't know your math. I said, you don't know sheep. <laughs> it was fourth grade at the time. She asked me what I was going to do with my life. I said, I'm going to drop out of school and become a teacher. She says, you're only in fourth grade. What could you teach? I said, third grade. <laughs> <laughs> and, one I didn't like that one. and one final poem. Well, one El Lama, he's a priest. The two El Lama, he's a beast. And I will bet a silky pajama that you'll never find a three El Lama. Ooh. Uh, it's going to take a while to get that one. Take a bow. Take a bow. <laughs> very good. Thank you so very much. Hey, and Mary Ann and Ginger, are you going to come on later on in the show? We'll be back. We'll thank be you. back. All right. Thank you, Mary Ann. Thank you, Ginger. <laughs> It's Jody and Strange! Hey, kids! Hey, kids! Good! Can everybody see me? Can everybody see? Can everybody see the, the nice the, the nice weather outside? Yeah, this is Jody Extreme. Can everybody see the weather? You know what you need to do? After this television show is over, turn it off and then go outside. Because that's gonna be really fun. We gotta get off the wait, wait, get off the tablet. See? See? The, the kids were outside. Sony, come here. Come here. Come here. And now okay. our headline. Wait. Oh, hold on. Wait. I'm not putting it back yet. Okay. Okay. So. You need to get Jeff to see. I know. I know. Jeff. Jeff. And security guard. All right. I'm here. Hey, come here. I need you and Sony Extreme to demonstrate what we need to do instead of being on um, uh, electronics and instead of um, watching TV all the time, except for this show. This show's like, watch this show. Okay. But ready? Okay. This is what we're going to do. Okay. Sony. All right. Jackie and security are on Sony. All right, this is what we're going to do. This side and this side. Okay, I don't care. Okay. Let's run around the table. Okay, ready? Let's demonstrate. Okay, now this, now Sony is showing walking. Jackie and security guard is showing um, running. And this is going to get your heart rate up. This is going to get, if getting the tangle to the mic cord gets your heart rate up too. See how well they're doing? Even Sony. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Ow, wait a minute. Hold on. Yes, come in. Wait a minute. Ooh. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. There's a leprechaun. Wait. There's a leprechaun. Wait, let me check the script. Hold on. Wait a minute. What do we do with the drunken sailor? What do we do with the drunken sailor? What do we do with the drunken sailor? Woo! advice by Jody Extreme. Get off the couch, get away from that computer and your tablets, get out and play like we did when we were kids. Now, ladies and gentlemen, introduced by Steve Shine, the, the chairman of the Allen County Republican Committee, it's Mickey Lee. And now, our headliner this evening, appearing currently at the Red Room at the Hobby Ranch House on North Anthony Boulevard in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Mr. Excitement himself, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Mickey Lee. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Steve Shine. Hi, this is Steve Shine. Ah, I wouldn't miss him for the world. Well, this is Mickey Lee, the original Mickey Lee from the Hobby House in beautiful downtown Fort Wayne, Indiana, on the Uncle Ducky Show, and we're so happy to be here today. You know, people always ask me, Mickey, how do you become a comedian? Well, first you go to diction school, and you learn how to speak properly. <laughs> and it's very simple. They fill your mouth with marbles, and each day they take out a marble. 
So after a month and a half, when you lost all your marbles, then you're ready for show business. <laughs> oh boy, gotta see my wife, she's amazing. For 20 years we've been married and the other day I said, honey, let's go away on a vacation. Then I happened to look up and notice a little old lady sitting in the kitchen knitting. I couldn't believe it. I said, you know, the next time we ought to go on vacation without your mother. She says, I thought she was your mother. <laughs> well, we all do the best we can. I, I've got a great doctor. He's the guy that keeps me running. And if you can't afford the operation, he touches up the x-ray. <laughs> Take that, Medicare. Well, <laughs> I love to go to the racetrack. But I don't go anymore. No more horse racing for me. Last horse I bet on, he was so slow he was keeping a diary as he went around the track. I mean, I don't have a penny to my name anymore, so I changed my name. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, just heart to heart here. Do you know what it means to come home at night to a beautiful, generous, loving woman? It means you're in the wrong house. <laughs> Whoa. A fellow walked up to me yesterday and he says, stick them down. I said, what do you mean stick them down? You mean stick them up? He says, no wonder I haven't been making any money. Whoa. And speaking of money, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget your lovely waiters and waitresses here at the Hobby House. Be sure and leave them a very generous tip. Just sign your name and walk away. That'll do the same thing. Good night, everybody. Yay! Mickey Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Lee. Oh, it's Mr. Caulfield, kids, look. Miss Hi, Mr. Caulfield. Well, I tell you, hello, Uncle Ducky. Hi. And you need to be putting your hat on you. Oh, dude. that's right, I got to put my hat on, I almost forgot. Anything we can do to cover up some of you is good. Yes. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> So, what's up, Mr. Caulfield? What were you going to ask me? Well, sure, and I was going to tell you how good it is with your encouraging the people to be given and such. I tell you, you're promoting that, and that's a wonderful thing to do. Thank you very much. And also, uh, we promote books and reading, literature uh, at the library and the uh, 14 branch libraries, the Allen County Public Library, also in Dayton, Ohio, where our show is sent, and Mount Pleasant, Michigan. But with the art, music, and the media department, De Dev Patel, the award-winning, uh, Academy Award-winning um, uh, what, actor, what? Yeah. actor <laughs> is going to be on the show tonight. So let me introduce Dev Patel from Slumdog hey. Millionaire. Here he is. <laughs> Yay! Dev Patel, what an honor to have an Oscar-winning performer oh, on the Uncle you, Ducky thank show. Thank you, thank you, Uncle Ducky. Hi, kids. You know you can all get an award-winning movies like this from the Alien Council Library. All you need to do is just go up there, call on phone, or get in touch, and you can rent it. Uncle Ducky, can yes. I call uh, the branch? Oh, Brian, oh yeah, go ahead. Come on over here. I'll let you sit in this seat right here. And um, I know his number, too. We'll dial Branch, and you can talk to Branch. <laughs> there you go. Hello, Branch. <laughs> uh, hello, this is Branch. This is Fatou. Yeah, nice meeting you. Nice. Nice, nice talking to you, I mean. Good. What do you have for the kids today? Well, uh, I got some uh, closer to the mic. books. Yeah. Closer to the mic. Oh, okay. Uh, I got some jokes. Uh, you know, I know a wolf. Uh, she, li <laughs> she, she lives in a tree. That's right. She's a timber wolf. <laughs> okay, well, she paints her toenails red. Uh, she likes to hide in cherry trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, since my jokes have left you howling, uh, I'm going to have to make like a branch and leave. But, <laughs> but, but first, Farman has some books that he wants to hand out. Oh, yeah. Is that right? 
So, hey, Mar where's Marianne and Ginger? Marianne and Ginger. Hi, Marianne. Oh, Hi, and Ginger. they have two friends with them. Hi. Hey, I'm a ducky. They've got two little friends with them. Oh, they do. Marianne, why don't you ha introduce the kids to the camera? Hi there, girls. Can you tell me your name? Amani. Kayla. Say that again. Kayla. Little Make loud. sure we see her on camera. Amani. Okay. Okay, girls, hold on a minute. Where's the farm hand at? Where's the farm hand? Look what the farm hand has. A great book on wolves Ooh. for you. Yes. From our public library? Can you show me to the audience? Right, hold those books oh. right there. There's one oh. book on wolves. Okay, and what's the other book? There's another book on wolves. Very oh, nice. And look, there's a book on gray wolves. Gray wolves? Yeah, see that? Hey, uh, uh, Branch, <laughs> what do you yes. know about gray wolves? <laughs> well, they're coming to Fort Wayne soon. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so. So make sure you go to, thanks Branch, good night. Uh, make sure you go to your library. If you want to do a school paper on wolves or being reintroduced to our ecosystem, Yellowstone National Park, come to the library or the branch offices of the library or Dayton or Mount Pleasant and use books for resources. Thank you very much for coming out, guys. Thank you, Deb Patel. Bye, Thank you, Ducky. You stay out here while everybody. the ventriloquist. Hey, let them stay out. They can hear some ducks. Okay, okay. That was a good scene. That was a good part of the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Tristan Andorfer and ventriloquist. Hey, Tristan, what did the wolf say when someone stepped on his foot? I don't know. What did he say? Oh! Hey, Tristan, what did the wolf say to the other wolf? I don't know. What? How's it going? <laughs> hey, why don't you call a tender wolf? Oh, wait. <laughs> there we go. Why do you call a lumberjack wolf? I don't know what. A tender wolf. Boy, I got that one. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, Tristan, I just thought of something. What? What do you call a lost wolf? I don't know. What do you call a lost wolf? A werewolf! <laughs> Thank you, Tristan. And what is your little friend's name? Kel, with just one L. K-E-L. Kel. Thank you, Kel. Take a nice bow, Kel. Nice bow. Uh, thank you, Ginger. Mary Ann for coming on her show. Bye bye, Ducky. Bye bye, Ginger. Okay, let's get moving now. On, on with the show, Uncle Ducky. On with the show. Hey, it's Cuckoo the Clock, boys and girls. Look, I'm gonna. Ch yes, go ahead. Hi, Uncle Ducky. I just want to tell you how nice it is that you are uh, doing things for the library and for the Lifehouse Church. And it's just a really good show tonight. You're really taking care of everybody. Thank you. And you almost sound like Ed Sullivan when you said, really? <laughs> Remember him? Hey, hey, Uncle Ducky. Yes, I, Mr. I McHenry. I need to introduce you to a couple of really nice folks. Uh, some of them from uh, the Life, Lifehouse uh, Methodist Church up in Huntingtown. Uh, her name is uh, Sherry Kars. Here she comes. She's coming out the door. And along with her is uh, Phil and Holly Small, whose house we've used to uh, generate a lot of food for this nice group. Nice group. They are the, Thank you. They are what, the, what do you mean by the word of uh, uh, charitable. See, I forgot to turn the page. So, um, hey, that's the word of the month, kids. What? Socko the Sock oh, Puppet is now going to give the definition of the term being charitable. Hey, Socko. Here I come, here I come. <laughs> oh, oh, not, Ducky. 
Hey, it's my... There we go. I was out looking for those wolves. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, here is the definition of charitable. Yes. It is to be generous in donations or gifts to relieve the needs of the indignant, yes. ill, or helpless persons or of animals. Yes. Here is an example. A charitable man giving much money to feed the poor. Okay? That's how you use it in a sentence. Now... Also, the second part of the, the definition go. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> is to is a kindly or lenient in judging people. So, you know, I mean, we do not judge people. We do not judge one another. Okay. Uh, example of <laughs> charitable in his opinions of others. So, you know, it, it, I, I'm sorry to get right confused, <laughs> but it, it just means to be generous. And if you have more than you need, share. Say, Very good, Phil, share. Um, what brings it to you? Bring you brings you, uh, you to bring your house, open your house for such a wor worthy, uh, worthy thing. Well, when Phil and I moved into our house about um, seven years ago, we thought it would be fun to have an open house at Christmas time because I love to decorate for Christmas, and I said let's invite all our friends and family. And so we did. And that first year it was wonderful. Everyone had such a good time that they wanted us to do it again. So I told my husband, we should do something that benefits other people because we are so blessed with everything that we have and we would love to give back to others who are not as fortunate as us. Oh, so when neat. we invited all of our friends and family, we asked them to please bring a donation for the Community Harvest Food Bank. And that's what we did the first year. From there on, it expanded. We now support uh, the Garrett United Methodist Church and also Lifehouse Church here with Sherry Karst. Very nice. And I know Thank I'd you like very much. both Thank of you. you. Yes, I'd like both of you to be introduced and filled to my conscience. Okay, Once come over here. Come on over What's here. Yeah, my conscience will talk to you. Hello, Sherry, and hello, Holly. That's my conscience talking to nice you. To meet you. Hi, Ducky's Wait a minute, microphone. Always on the mic, yes. Hi, Ducky's Conscience, how are you? I am doing great. I also wanted to tell Uncle Ducky there that he's been doing a fantastic job the last several decades promoting the library. Thank you, my conscience. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you, you very, very much. Good. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, I think, excuse me, stay out here on the set. I think I hear the phone ringing. Yes, I do. Hello? Hello, Uncle Ducky Show, go ahead, you're on the air. Bona fide, Mr. Ducky, how do you do? Oh, good. <laughs> this is Lady Catherine, I called to remind you to have your producer put the video PSA promo about reading them books on their show. <laughs> you know, kids, they need to know how to use their libraries. Okay, and Norm, if you'd run that video, we'll close the show with the video. Thank you, everyone, for being on our show tonight. Thank you for Yay! calling in, Lady Catherine. Um, all right. Let's make it a little bit longer, okay? All right. Thank you. For like this. Kids. Hi, I'm a wolf. I'm part of the scheme of nature. And I've been reinduced in like the Yellowstone National Park. Do you, if you want to do a paper on wolves like me, come to your library or some of the branches and get books for reference and use your local libraries. We're trying to promote reading. All right. Okay. So you, you can do it a little bit longer than you did it. Ready? All right. We're rolling. Hi, I'm a wolf, and I'm here at the Allen County Public Library. If you want to learn about more wolves, come here. I'm part of nature. Wolves have been reintroduced into, like, Yellowstone and all that. So if you have a paper you gotta do, come here to the library, find books, read up on us. <laughs> <laughs>